friends. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Zoom's waiting rooms. We're gonna talk about what it is useful for, how you can use waiting rooms, what it's all about, what Zoom has to say about it. If we are meeting for the first time, hi, my name is Sean. Welcome. On this channel, I create a lot of content around Zoom to help people build relationships through fun and games. And occasionally I do tutorials to help people learn the basics of Zoom. So let's move to my computer and get started on today's tutorial. So I am starting us out on the Support Zoom Help Center website just to read you a brief overview of the waiting room according to Zoom. The waiting room feature allows the host to control when a participant joins the meeting. As the meeting host, you can admit attendees one by one or hold all attendees in the waiting room and admit them all at once. You can send all participants to the waiting room when joining your meeting, or you can allow participants from your Zoom account and participants at specific domains to bypass the waiting room. Participants will see the following screen when joining a meeting with waiting room enabled. All right, so this little overview gives us a little bit of more in depth of the features that waiting room can, can do. I'm gonna show you first how to enable the waiting room feature because this is a feature that is available on the free account. All right, so let's start up a Zoom meeting with myself and walk you through this. And I'm gonna schedule a meeting here. Okay, so this is what we see when you schedule a meeting, okay? You have Sean Hall's Zoom meeting, you've got your date and time, you can check whether or not it's a recurring meeting or not, you've got a security password, and now you have waiting room. And if I'm understanding correctly, this waiting room is going to always be enabled now. For Zoom, it's gonna be an automatic thing, whereas before it was unchecked and you had to check it. Now it's just gonna be an automatic thing. And this is a security issue. This is so that you can monitor who's coming in and out of your meeting. And you can double check on your, your list whether or not the people in your waiting room are actually supposed to be at the meeting that you've done. And I like to also turn off the video for the host, turn off the video for the participants, just in case somebody sneaks by <laughs> that's not supposed to be in the Zoom meeting. You can down here in, an, in advanced options, you can enable so people can join before the host. I don't recommend that, I don't know why that's even something. Um, mute participants on, on entry, I always click that and um, you can automatically record the meeting on your local computer. Now, of course, there are more features that you can enable on the paid version of Zoom, but I don't have that. I only have the free version, so this is just a simple way to show you waiting room. Hi, you guys. Okay, so I have pulled up a little screenshot because this is just a meeting for myself, so obviously I can't show you what waiting room looks like. But when people enter the waiting room, I have pulled up this little screenshot that I've saved from a previous meeting, and this is the little message you'll get, okay? So if someone was coming in, Sean Howell, Robert Downing Jr., <laughs> Claire Danes, I don't know. Their name would pop up here, entered the waiting room, and you will have the chance to go ahead and admit them into the meeting or just view more about them. And so that is, it will actually pop up here. I'll move it. It'll actually pop up right up here at the top of your screen so that you can do that. And then down here where it says participants, you'll be able to see, so right now it just has me, right? You just see a one on the screen and so that's just me. But if there were people in the waiting room, this number would go up and it would tell you how many people were in the waiting room. And so you could click this little up arrow, a little box, wouldn't say invite, it would give you a box of a list of all the names of the people who are waiting in your waiting room and you can individually invite them. So that is how you use waiting room. Super simple, super easy. I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider subscribing to my channel because I post basic Zoom tutorials like this frequently. And I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.